Hello. Welcome back. Oh. Alright. Goodbye. My cat just left. Uh how how are we doing? Got my got my shark friend. What are we doing? What what are we doing? Oh, pinwheel. Sure, let's uh let's buy a pinwheel. Oh, I, I see I, I can place it. Oh, that's cool. Um I do intend on using uh, this space a little bit because uh, later we're gonna get some some things that'll help us um, you know maintain our health and uh, give us buffs and stuff uh, and um, I'm gonna get rid of some of this dirt block and I know like perfectly flat is not necessarily great it looks kind of ugly but you know it's probably better than having a bunch of extra dirt blocks might want to replace it with wood at some point I don't know um, I do know the statue, the, the angel statue does something now, but I don't know what. Uh, can we put the painting up, like, here? No, we can't. Mm, the paintings are kind of a pain in the butt. Alright, let's put it up near the top. Reason being is I, I plan on putting all of the specialty crafting stations in the other spots. Listen, I know I've just started the, um, the episode and now I'm like doing decorating so probably probably not the most interesting thing but I know someone out there cares all right so now that that's done we do have some more I just want to like figure out our, our inventory situation uh, I'll put these chairs in here we'll keep the the platforms throw some throw some chest uh, wizard hat in there increases magic damage I don't know, like, I, I kind of don't want to rely on the same builds I've I've done, you know, previously, because they are kind of boring. They are either summoner's build, um, or they are th th just like gun. <laughs> I don't know how to put it, gunsmith. Um, so we have we do have our a go a gold. Oh, I didn't know that that actually goes through the ground now. Wow, Star Fury is actually a much better weapon now than it used to be. Um, I have a much better pickaxe now, so we could we could uh, you know basically head in a direction and see see what happens. Ooh, okay. Apparently, I I was just sitting on a, a life crystal here. Well, that's good. That tells me that um, there's a bunch of stuff in this direction that I haven't done. Oh. Oh, the termites are going to be a problem. Well, let's get this tungsten ore. I don't know if tungsten ore is very good or important. And uh, we are going to be moving on to more important ores pretty soon, but I like to collect it. Um, I guess the first thing, the first order of business is going to be Eye of Cthulhu. I guess I would trust that I have, uh, you know, a good amount of DPS with Star Fury. Star Fury could honestly take it out solo. Wow, Star Fury is really good now that it works underground. I don't know when that happened, but sturdy, sturdy something. What, what, what did I just get? Sturdy something? Sturdy fossil. That's a, I think, a specialty resource for making like furniture and stuff. All right, as per promised, I am going to use this Belunker's potion. So. We, we, uh, not a lot of interesting, mostly tungsten. Tungsten, I think, is basically silver. We're looking mostly for, well, gold. That's, that's gold right there. Um, so, you know, we're, 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 we're good with gold. Um, also want to find as many heart crystals as I can find. Because, I, I know I, there's an extra find in there. Um... You know, I want to I want to increase our health to max as soon as possible. What is that? Lead ore. Ooh, there's some jewels down there. Not really priority. Ooh, there's a chest. Let's check out the chest. Probably it's a, it's it's a sunken chest, so that's probably just going to give us something for underwater. Not they're not the best chest, but they're all right. Lucky flipper, sandcastle bucket. Um, there's a gold. You know, there's some some nice stuff in there for sure. Trying to just trying to max. Oh, well, we should pick up the chest itself. Just trying to see what what we can see. Oh, there's some gold down there. 
This is not necessarily a good use of our potion, but I'm, I'm going to do it. We have four minutes on our potion. I want I want to make use of that as much as we can, but, uh, you know, I think that probably going as far as we can to find some life potion, uh, life crystals would be the best use of it, but also finding gold is not a bad use, in my opinion, I don't know. Listen, I don't think that optimizing Terraria is necessarily, you know, the most fun thing. I've spoken many times about my philosophy regarding optimization and uh, generally I don't have fun uh, optimizing my play. Alright, so we're good there. Let's try and find some more uh, life crystals. We only have three minutes left. Uh, minecart. Minecarts are going to help us a lot because we're going to be able to cover a lot of ground. There's some more gold there. I could just like put a little marker here to let me know, but no, forget it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. Um, I guess when I start doing bosses and stuff, it would be good to have a full set of gold tools. I can't remember if the gold um, pickaxe lets us, uh, lets me um, dig through demonite, which we're, I'm gonna need something that digs through demonite, but I can't remember. The first big milestone is of course going to be um, the dungeon. Ooh, there's far more gold over there. Yeah, I should have done this a while ago. I can make some more Spelunker's potions. They're not super difficult to make. They mostly require a blink root. What I should do is take a moment to um, uh, kind of start our garden and then I can get things like blink root. I'm also going to want to do some fishing. I don't know if in this game, uh, in Terraria, there's, there's, a, a, there's an achievement I've failed to get basically in every playthrough, which is um, do 200 quests for the angler. The, uh, the angler is one of the more annoying NPCs to, to, to work with, but it is worth it because they give you some good stuff. But also just, you know, handing in a, um, quests for him gives you quite a few achievements. Listen, I know someone out there is going to be annoyed with how I've handled this, um, this Spelunker's potion, but I did get quite a bit of gold that I would not have gotten otherwise. So I am pretty content with it, but I understand it's, you know, there's going to be other Spelunker potions. Bear, bear with me on that front. Ooh. Oh, that's, um, oh, there's a, there's a crystal underneath us, but that's, uh, fossils above us, I think. I love the, the round cactuses, they're, they're pretty fun. They also make for pretty effective weapons if you, uh, if you use them. All right, sandstone block. So we're, we're pretty much under, we can, we can head back, like recall back, cause you know, our Splunker's potion is done. It's not much else for us here. I love the music in, in the underground desert is a lot of fun. You can get some antlion mandibles. I know they're useful for something. I think they actually make a really good weapon. Scarab bombs. It's amazing to me how many... Ooh. Okay, let's recall before I die. Um, it's amazing to me how many biomes have been like fleshed out in Terraria. It's kind of crazy. Um, I could, like, I, I might have enough stuff to make the uh, the summon for Eye of Cthulhu. I think I'm, I'm gonna want to do that pretty soon. Oh, this is a pet that I'm never, I don't like the sugar glider. Straight up, I do not like it. I know that someone is, is gonna be, oh, I can't believe, why would you, you know, talk mad, mad, crap about the sugar glider they're they're one of the coolest listen i don't care you know sugar glider i don't like it doesn't sit doesn't sit good with me my hot take sugar glider is is overrated sugar gliders in general are overrated comparatively to the ethics for <laughs> i can't believe terraria is going to turn into the anti sugar glider series okay so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do is look up how to summon eye of cthulhu um, by giving these lenses. I know it's the lenses. We got to give this to our friend here. Oh, we can summon a deer thing with it as well. 
optic staff. That's uh, much, much later. Oh, it's just um, six lenses. Nothing too complicated about that. Okay. So what we're going to have to do is find ourselves a convenient demon uh, altar. They're generally, especially in um, the both the corruption and the and the the kind of the blood. Okay, unfortunately, gold does not dig through this stuff. So I'm gonna have to go get some bombs. So let's go back. Um, I I think I prefer the way the corruption generates because it's a little bit less labyrinthine and it's a bit more straightforward. Um, you know. It, I like the crimson aesthetically, although I have spoken already about the fact that no, I don't like it aesthetically. I don't really like either aesthetically. I think that's kind of the point, for sure. All right, let's try this hole. Okay, this hole is actually much worse. I should uh, make some armor. Also want some death weed. I really like Star Fury. It's actually working out really well for us. Okay, so if I can just clear this out a bit, then this will be a good access point to the demon altar. There we go. Easy peasy. I've honestly just used um, bombs before to to like access the uh, these orbs, which we're gonna have to destroy. So we're at a demon altar. We should be able to make the the thing, and there it is. All right. Got some rotten chunks. Those are gonna be useful for other things. Um, I could, while I'm here, start digging some holes. So let's let's do that a little bit. This is going to be a pain in the butt. But, you know, it, it's the corruption. It's always going to be a pain in the butt. I, the, uh, the Star Fury is really doing, doing the Lord's work for us. We actually, we could destroy a couple of these orbs now. I think it's like, you have to destroy three of them if you want to summon the, the big bad. Oh no, is that going to destroy it? It is. Okay, we, we want to, oh. The, that one tile is really creating a problem for us. Okay, there we go. You know what, let's make sticky bombs. I have some gel on me. We can, we can make sticky bombs. Perfect. Those are just superior versions anyway. Okay. So I'm just gonna dig over to the other two orbs. Not gonna break the third one. I'm just gonna collect the stuff I need. We already got a rifle. I don't know, I think there's a, there's a few things you can get from the orbs and some of them, some of them are good for the, the, you know, where we're at in this game. And some of them are just like, well, whatever. All right. Ooh, is it the shadow orb? Oh, the shadow orb is actually really good. Oh, yes. So that means we can now get rid of the miner's helmet. The shadow orb casts a very small amount of light. Um, so that's, that's gonna m mean we don't need the miner's helmet anymore. I could sell it. It's actually still worth quite a bit of money. Gotta be careful not to break that last orb. And uh, so we have access to it. We're, we should be good. We can also um, collect some quite a bit of stuff from these guys. I don't think you can get lenses from them, unfortunately. I think you can only get those from the little mini eyes. Wow, they really did a good job um, making Star Fury good. Cause it like, it still lands on ground, but it goes through the ceiling. So it's like the best of all worlds. It's got like splash damage. There's a lot of demon, uh, demon altars here. All right, I'm I'm gonna recall. We have what we need. Um, I'm also I'm gonna do a quick cut here because I want to start working on. We don't have enough time tonight to to summon the the uh, Cthulhu's eye, but I want to start working on the farm. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do that for a second. All right, so our farm is more or less done. I'm gonna need some of the specialty blocks necessary to build some of the other stuff, but that's that's a job for later. 
We have enough for chain mail. I don't think we have enough for a chain mail and a helmet, unfortunately. And I'm also just gonna like get rid of our, cha our copper chain mail. Oh, we have enough for a mana crystal, nice. Um, Bone Javelins from Sturdy Fossil, interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in there. We'll throw the sandstone block somewhere. Bone Throwing Knives, cool. Ooh, Golden Crown, oh, that's a vanity item. Mm, not what we need. Uh, okay, so we still need a bit of gold to make the helmet. I should be good, honestly, with what I've got currently, but, you know, better to be safe than sorry. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of these extra resources over here. It'd be kind of cool, um, there hasn't been any, like, plants implemented for the Sky Islands. It'd be kind of nice if, if there was. Speaking of which... Um, I have some Sky Islands that I need to go and loot. I think just this one. I think I looted this one and this one. E yeah, okay. So there's a Sky Island right here that I need to go loot. Um, we can do that. I should get some, some more gold, um, but it's, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do that later, I suppose. I also, I planted our day bloom seeds. I forgot that certain plants need certain very specific um, blocks to be placed. So that's uh, something I'm gonna have to work on. Shiverthorn needs like snow blocks, I'm pretty sure, or something to that effect. And uh, um, you know, we got, uh, what was, I can't remember. Uh, Moonglow needs jungle, jungle mud blocks specifically. So uh, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff we need to do if we want to do potion crafting. Potion crafting is just like 100% worth it. So I do want to do potion crafting. It's also one of the reasons that um, fishing is actually worthwhile as well. Okay, is are we, we're below it now, so let's go ahead and start building our horrifying um, tower of death. It really sucks that I didn't collect this because it, we're going to have to be fighting these jerks pretty much the whole time and they are going to knock me off. Fortunately, I have what I need to stay on. Oh man, this is going to suck. And of course, once we get high enough, we're going to have to deal with harpies instead. Eater Souls Banner. Oh, that's kind of nice. You know what would be nice about the souls? The, the Sorry, the... um. The banners, instead of giving you a buff to kill the creature, they would just make it so that the creature in question did not spawn anymore. I know that's a really big ask, but in fact, eventually, having killed everything enough times, you could just turn your world into peaceful mode, but come on, that'd be that'd be really swell. Um, just like after a while of fighting certain, certain creatures, you just never have to again. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Oh, we got our first harpy feather. I'm pretty sure we're gonna need to get souls um, before we can get things like wings. My God, I wish I had just like collected the thing. Why did I have to just like, oh, I'll just mark it on the map. It'll be fine. And uh, and then we'll, we'll go and collect it later. Why? Should be able to reach it now. Okay, cool. So let's go. We'll use Star Fury to fight. And then uh, I really do love like shift clicking in this game is such a nice little quality of feature, quality of life feature. It means you don't really have to switch quite as often. Hey, not dying would be a really smart idea. This is this is where um, you know patience wane, patience wanes for for Terraria a little bit because you can just get harassed to death. Um, Sky Island, I, that is that is there to stay. I'm afraid. All right, um, let's grab our stuff here. Uh, Lucky horseshoe. That's that's not bad. All right, we're gonna get rid of our dirt tower and then I'm going to recall. It should be getting. It is almost nighttime, so I think I'll take a chance and fight uh, the Eye of Cthulhu tonight. I know we're like four or five episodes in, and I'm only now fighting the first boss, but you know I think it's a good idea to kind of take take your time in Terraria. I think um, you know if I was if I was on my own, I probably wouldn't fight anything until I had potions ready. Like my farm was basically like prepped and I had all of the potions I need. 
because the thing is, is you're not really doing yourself any favors by fighting things early. You're just making life more difficult for yourself. Look at all the cool stuff we got. Okay, uh, recall. I'm gonna blow through those pretty quickly. We do want a magic mirror, but uh, you know, I'm not really in control of when I get that. Negates fall damage. The lucky horseshoe is a really good item, but I think I like some of the items we already have. This is a angry lucky horseshoe, so that's actually really good. Bundle of horseshoe balloons allows the holder to quadruple jump. I'm pretty sure there are things you can turn it into that uh, are better. Obsidian horseshoe, so there we go. We can combine it with our um, our obsidian skull to turn it into uh, just a much better um, item that will negate fall damage. That will become redundant later, but uh, that's fine. There, there are things we can do with these bundle of balloons. Holder to quadruple jump increases jump height. Cloud in a balloon. So these are these are all things. Once we find a balloon, we can combine it with our cloud in a bottle. These items become very much like who cares. Um, oh, we need the Tinker's Workshop. I can't actually make the Obsidian Horseshoe yet. Sucks. Increased movement speed. You feel an evil presence. It looks like I'm not going to need to um, make that uh, or use the Summoning Eye. It seems like we are going to be fighting the Eye of Cthulhu against their consent. All right. Bring it on, Eye of Cthulhu. Here we go. All right, here we go. Thought I had a bit more time, but that's okay. All right, they're coming in from the right side. I made a mistake of going to the left side. Okay, all right, this is already not going super well, but I, I just got to remember how to dodge. Star Fury is doing a pretty good job. I, I wonder if the boomerang might actually be better. Sort well, you know, when it's underground, it's not going to be. Okay, that's that's a lot less damage than Star Fury. I haven't actually used any healing potions yet, but that might be a thing I want to do for this battle. This battle is a lot harder in uh, hard mode, or not hard mode, but like master mode, whatever it's called. I was really tempted to, to do this playthrough on, on master mode because um, the extra items you get for fighting the bosses are really nice. They're kind of like extra little toys and goodies. So Star Fury is going to be enough to kill Eye of Cthulhu. I do question whether or not it'll be enough for the Devourer of Worlds. But we could give it a go. Could could honestly fight him again. So let's let's do that real quick. I was also tempted to play with mods, but the problem with playing with mods is it means playing with the mod launcher. And um, that is kind of stuck in uh, a certain version of Terraria, and you don't get some of the basic quality of life features afforded to you in, uh, in later versions of Terraria. So it, it's a catch-22 situation. You could get a lot of quality of life features from the mods, of course, but then you lose a lot of quality of life features from Terraria itself. But maybe uh, when uh, the modding scene has caught up with the current version and, you know, maybe last version of Terraria, then we can uh, revisit Terraria and I'll, I'll play with mods and I'll look up some decent mod packs. That is if the series does well. I, sh I also want to expand the inventory situation at some point, but, uh, you know, I'm kind of just, you know, winging it for now. Let's... Um, Let's see what we can make with Demonite. We can make Demon Bars, which we probably want. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just go ahead and make all of it. And we're gonna want, I guess, a Demon Pickaxe, which we don't have enough. Uh, it seems we don't have enough to make that. Requires bait to catch fish. Demon Bow, War Axe of the Night, Light's Bane. That is a material for something. Uh, oh, we need Shadow Scales. I'm assuming we get that from maybe the Devourer of Worlds. What is this? Increases movement speed and acceleration, provides light when worn. So I guess I'm gonna have to um, defeat the uh, Eater of Worlds. Uh, that'll be in the next episode, maybe. That's if I want to do that yet. 
Um, we could certainly try it. It's, it's an easier ask than, um, than other things. Go ahead and throw this in here for now. Um, I also, I'll do a little bit of inventory management between episodes. Um, and I will, we'll, we'll see what happens in the next episode. We'll see what we, we can fight. If you're enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.